So, in this lesson, we are going to look at the climate. Now, we briefly touched on climate in last lesson, and we kind of discovered that it was always wet and it was always warm. So it was always kind of wet and warm. So we're going to build on that and kind of try and explain why it happens. Why is it always uh, warm and wet? So we're going to, be able to draw a climate graph and we're going to, be able to use that kind of climate data to describe the conditions from the graph using the actual data. And then we're going to make decisions from what we know about rainforest climate to decide if other areas of uh, the world are rainforests based on their climate data. So, quick recap of the areas again. So, A is the Amazon, B is the Congo, and C is Indonesia. So we should have marked that on our map from last lesson uh, so we can kind of keep an eye out or know where we're talking about in the world when we talk about rainforests. The rainforest we are going to focus on heavily throughout this unit is the Amazon rainforest. So we've got a climate graph which shows us the climate of uh, the rainforest. I'm just going to hide the title. So what we have is we have rainfall which is shown on the right hand side of the climate graph, okay? And we use this scale here from zero to 50, 100, 150, so on, and everything in between. So rainfall is shown on the right hand side of our climate graph, okay? And we know that rainforests have an average rainfall of over 2,000 millimeters per year. <sighs> so that's every month along the bottom. If we added all that up, it would be more than 2,000 millimetres. All right. Now, temperature is on the left-hand side of the climate graph. And we notice that the zero starts halfway up. That's because in some areas of the world, we get negative temperatures, all right? Like minus two degrees. Scotland being an example. So, rainfall is shown by the blue bars. Now, think of it, if it was raining, these bars would fill up with water. Temperature is shown by these line graphs here, this red line. Think red equals warm, blue equals water. That's a good way of remembering that. All right, so we have a climate graph for the rainforest. So what I want you to do on your one note is take the data from this table for January, February, March, April, May, and so on for the entire year. And what I want to do is mark on the temperature as dots using the scale on the left-hand side. And then what I want you to do is draw the bars for rainfall using the scale on the right-hand side, all right? So I would like you to do that now. All right, so to draw a temperature, you can draw the three dots like that, and then the bar graphs like that. So once you've completed drawing your climate graph, we are going to use the data from the graph to describe the climate of the rainforest. And describing is a great skill that we need throughout geography eh, to kind of say what something is and then we go on to explain why it happens. So the climate of Amazon is hot and wet, the hottest months are, and we take this data from a climate graph. And we can put in more than one month here. All right. So we say what the hottest months are, and then we say what temperature they are in this bit here. The wettest months have, and then we look at how much rainfall the wettest months have. All right. Again, it could be more than one. So if there's two that have 250 minutes rainfall, that would be the wettest one. Oh, apologies. All right. The temperature and rainfall, now look at the graph. Does your temperature change a lot or does it stay roughly the same? So if they change a lot, we would write the temperature and rainfall change a lot. If it doesn't, we would, just, we would write it stays roughly the same. So have a look at your graph and then make that decision. The minimum temperature is whatever it is. So what's the lowest temperature and occurs in the months of and then when that happened using this bit along the bottom. 
Again, it can be more than one month. And the lowest amount of rainfall were in, what month was it, and how much rainfall happened in the months. So, that is our kind of description. So, your next task is to look at the climate graphs in your OneNote and decide whether or not it is a rainforest or not. And underneath the graph, me to write rainforest or not rainforest. Now, I hope that makes sense. Uh, and a teacher will be able to look over your work and give you a bit of feedback on whether or not you've got rainforest or not correct. All right, hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions in the post sections of our teams and someone from within the team will get back to you to help you out.